touch. Look at the skills on that. Oh, here we go. Another one. Brilliant, brilliant. Now we're starting to see what people have been saying that this guy plays like Aaron Robin. Well done. So over the next few days, I'm going to bring you three different type or class of wingers. They play similar in some senses, but different in other ways. Now, I would see, I see Enketia going and I would think that we would place him like for like, we get a striker, a number nine, actual um, goal poacher, actual goal scorer. And I was thinking Yoko is or Usman. However, the way it's looking now, we might get a winger instead of a striker. Now, I have no qualms about it. I just hope Mikel Arteta knows what he's doing. But everything's proven. Everything's uh, shown that he actually knows what he's doing. So... I'm not even going to debate this, right? Whatever Mikel Arteta thinks, let's go, let's run with it for now. But we're going to take a look into these three different type of players. And I want you to um, comment in the comment box below what one of these players you prefer. Uh, you prefer, Because um, based off, based off the, 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 the play style, based off their link up play, based off their speed, based off their, ac their shot accuracy, based off their shots overall. Um, let's just take a look at them. So, and his name is Andreas Oslov. And his name is Andreas Skov. Olsen, <laughs> those of you that know how to pronounce this name, let me know if I got it wrong, if I got it spot on, you get me? So basically, this is my first time watching this player. I don't know who this player is. I'm just scouting him now and we're doing it live together, right? So here is, his name on the shirt is Skov Olsen. Okay. Oh, this one is Olsen. I just saw Skov Olsen. Probably that's for Denmark. Let's see what he's like. Okay, that's an easy goal. Nothing much to talk about there. Oh, his reaction. He's got good reaction and he's got good technique because he's right footed to get that on target. That's a good goal. That's a very good goal. Well done. See him squeezing it in with his right foot. Not easy thing being left footed player. Well done. This guy, he's quite good in his right in terms of assists, in terms of he got gets a lot of assists on his right. But that he's playing on the right, so most of the times he has to do that. Assists again. Okay. I want to see some of them rubbing goals, man. Let's see something. Is it this one? Oh, that's a good, that's a good cross. That's a, that's that's something that Saka tried to do more of this season. Even though he got a little um, help on, that's something I see Saka tried to do a lot this season. This is it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're starting to see it. Good shot. Unlucky hitting the post there. Touch. Look at the skills on that. Oh, here we go. Another one. Brilliant, brilliant. Now we're starting to see what people have been saying that this guy plays like Aaron Robin. Well done. Penalty. Nah, nothing special. Straight, straight down the middle. Not in, a, in the corner or anything, but that's uh, um, uh, good that he scored that penalty. Another shot outside the box. Yeah, I like him. I like him, but right now he's just a replace. He's just a backup player. I don't see nothing that can really compete with Saka. Is this one? Is this potentially? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a good finisher. He is a good finisher. And we need, oh, yeah. He's got speed. He's got pace. He looks just as quick as Saka, to be fair. But I don't think he's as strong because he would be winning some, most of those jewels. He's weak on jewels and Saka is very good at jewels because he's stronger. But he's quick. He's got a good shot. Is he going in the corners? Okay, yeah, he found a corner. He's a good, he's a good penalty taker. That's how you, you assess them. Not just kicking it in the middle. Everyone can do that. But how does he place it in the corners? Good to be going around two um, defenders there, getting the pass off. Oh, yeah. He's good at headers as well. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. He's not shy. He's not scared to... He's brave enough to go in for headers. There we go, there we go, there we go. This is sometimes, I'm saying, Saka has the ball on the edge of the box. Be doing things like this, Saka. Odegaard, be doing things like this. Top corners, curls. A uh, good, good, um, um, good pouch and finish. Following the run, good. Again. Oh, that's poor, that's poor. Dead it. Dead. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. he surprised me. I thought he was going to dead it. And look to whip it in. First time crossing his right. Good, good, good. That's how you know a player is good when he does things that you didn't even expect. Well done. Good shot. Good shot. Right foot as well. He's got a good right foot on him. That's something I didn't check on. How is his um, less favourable foot? How good is his left um, favourite foot? Oh. Oh. His left favourite foot, I should say. 
brilliant shot. That was unlucky from the keeper. Keeper should have done better there, but that's a good strike nonetheless. Ball went behind him, still got on it. Producing a good cross on his right foot. This guy, he's a good assister as well. Brilliant pass, brilliant finish on his right. Nah, man, he's good. He's a good finisher. Right now, Trussard is our best finisher and he's a winger. Now, if we can get this guy, look, he's got pace, trickery. If we could get this guy, then there'll be a big, 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 big unlucky. There'll be a big, big, um, I would say, improvement to the goal scoring um, side of our game. Because as I said, that Trussard is the only one that I can really rely on most times. Saka is becoming that, but this guy looks like he's already there in terms of finishing. And that's what we need. Vieira was that as well. Vieira was a very good finisher, but everything else I was lacking. Speed, pace, the ability to get behind players, the strength, the confidence, the uh, um, um, challenge to do one-on-ones. Look at that on his right foot. He's, this guy is good. We, I would take him. I would take him. But we've still got a few more players to look. And we have to remember that um, this guy is a is a right winger. Arteta could potentially, that's a good going around the keeper and, and slotting in. Arteta could potentially change his position, but as of now, He's a right winger. So the other, so the other guys we're going to look at, they sl play slightly in different positions. Let, so let's remember that when we're judging or comparing these three players. So let's get into the next part of the video. So we see that Andreas is a, is from Denmark, um, 24 years old, nice, good age, keeping with the theme of the of the group, um, 187 centimeters. He's a number seven. He's left footed. So basically, he's going to be playing on Saka's wing, yeah. Most of mo mo mostly, um, potentially that's because um, we can see it right now. Um, right now, he's, he's right wing or he's right mid. But potentially, Arteta could do whatever his madness and play uh, and, and start playing him on the left hand side. We we don't know what Art, what's in Arteta's mind, but potentially it could be a, 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 a right winger that could be a replacement for Saka that could back up Saka that could come in when he's injured, sick or whatever, and could potentially give Saka a run for his money, even though he's older than Saka. Now, he's, he, he, one of his strengths his strengths are long shots, playmaking, high press. That's good. Long shots. We need that because sometimes I'm saying Saka whip it in out from outside the box, but Saka hasn't got that um, confident to be doing that yet. He rather to ticky tacky move and go inside the box and then shoot from them. So to be a, a winger and a playmaker, that's what Arteta tried to do with um, Vieira being a playmaker. I tried to play him on the wing to basically be that um, help, that support for Saka. Um, but uh, uh, um, Vieira didn't have the speed, he didn't have the technical awareness to do that as well. Um, high press. Um, that's good as well because it fits in with Arteta's uh, philosophy of pressing high. Uh, what else can we look at? So we see that throughout this um, for the for the for the first half of the season so far, last three matches he had a brilliant score. The first three matches not so much. Um, so play for Club Bruges. This it looks it looks good. He played um, five matches so far, three goals in f fifty three minutes. That's quality. That's top. It looks like he's bang on with form for the season. One um, um, team of the week already. It's two goals. Massive, massive, massive uh, um, achievement there for, for, for this player. So, he's a goal scorer winger. And that's what we need right now. He's like, I see people comparing to Iron Robin. Now, if he could be like an Iron Robin for us, that's like a Salah for us. That a goal scoring type of winger that can whip. We need that. We need, we need that, I'm telling you. So, Saka could even play on the left. If if, if Trussard and Martin are in performance, Saka could play on the left. Because Saka could play there. And then, because Saka is not, as I'm saying, he's not the type of player to be shooting outside the box. But if Olsen is, let him play on that right, let him cook, and then whip in and uh, have some shot from outside the box, whipping the ball in. So, yes, assists, no assists so far this season with Saka. I believe Saka has two assists, uh, one for uh, Havertz the first match of the season, and that one for Partey on the weekend. So, Saka is more of a creator, he's more of a goal scorer, winger, and I love it. Dribbling, 40, um, success rate 40%, not so good. Total jewel, 42%, not so good. So you can see that he's a bit weak in jewels. He's a weak, he's a bit weak in jewel, but that's something that he could improve on. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. Help me on my journey to 10,000 um, subs. Um, remember once again, I'll be uh, potentially doing my first live stream on, set on the weekend for the match against um, Brighton. So make sure you tune in for that one. Let me know in, your, in the comments box below your thought on this player. Uh, is, it, is it a player that we could potentially get? Is it a player that could um, bring us to the next level? Or is it just a waste of time? Because some fans want big name silence. Are you one of those fans that want big name? Or can you see the potential? in this player that Arteta could bring him in and transform him into a super Robin <laughs> or a super seller. Who knows? Let's see. Catch you next one, guys. Goodbye.